not consistent quantum mechanical to time of the FMG. Muhteşem şey yakınlığı. Einstein'ın ki öyle. Gerçi birazdan diyeceğim ki bu resim doğru değil. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> so our professor actually got a very important point. He said that you know this seems like nothing. It's just a particle. It should have zero entropy, right? Mm. Nothing. It's it's like an elementary particle. You took out everything. But 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 that is classical general relativity, which works amazingly nice, amazingly fine. It's except that. It, have, it gives us this picture. In, if you know the laws of thermodynamics, it says that there is this zero Kelvin where every motion, everything stops. And there is another law which says that you cannot go to the zero Kelvin temperature in a finite number of processes. So zero Kelvin is actually out there. Nobody can reach it, basically. That is the law of thermodynamics. Sıfır Kelvin'e normal dolaşamayız ama karadikte dolaşıyor. Böyle bir, böyle bir sıkıntı var. Hawking, uh, in 1974, he started to work in 1974, he was 33, 32 years of age, actually, uh, and he was already with a a a a ALS, uh, the uh, fatal disease, uh, for the 11th of his year. It started at 22. So he was thinking hard, really, to, 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 to do something. What he found is amazing. What if, if you take a black hole and then you apply the laws of quantum mechanics in the presence of a black hole? What do you get? So a black hole is Einstein's black hole. Quantum mechanics is quantum mechanics. You just take them. So what you get is so-called semi-quantum mechanical picture. We don't have quantum mechanics for black holes. So this is what he found. In the presence of a quantum vacuum, the thing here, if you take out everything, there is still a thing here, which we call quantum mechanical vacuum. Uh, then in the presence of a black hole, quantum mechanical vacuum, vacuum is unstable, and the black hole starts emitting electromagnetic radiation, neutrinos, and later on, a lot of other particles. A lot of stuff come out of the black hole. OK, that's what we found. So it has a lot of entropy. It has unbelievable amount of entropy. It is it's a very untidy thing. In fact, it turns out, look at the universe. Most of the entropy of the universe is inside the black hole. It's amazing. So if you look at the sun, entropy is the following. Look at me. I am a semi-bold person. I, I, I want somebody with hair. Can you come over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, some weird situation. Look, 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 look. I, I have to give you this information. This is important. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, listen to, to, to me. This is important. Now, if you want to draw this guy, if you want to get up. <laughs> if you want to draw Vida <laughs> and me, but very faithfully, very accurately, representing every detail, which one is actually harder to, to, to draw? Because it has a lot of hair, a lot of information, a lot of entropy, right? So information is entropy, he has a lot of hair. So in classical physics, we say that the black hole has no hair. That is the theorem. The black hole has no hair, no details. You have charge, mass, and perhaps angular momentum. Like a bold person. Say my word. Now Hawking comes along. Hawking comes along. Hawking says that the black hole has a lot of hair. In fact, so much hair that if the sun were to be a black hole, suddenly its entropy becomes a million times bigger. So where does this entropy come from? It was an elementary particle. Now it became a complicated thermodynamical thing. So Hawking's yeah, quantum mechanique, 
tam bilemiyoruz ama karadeliklerin kuantum mekaniğini bir miktar bir miktar uygulamaya çalışsak evreni tamamen boş düşünün çok önemli değil bunlar detay boşlukta bir tane kara delik olsun küçük olsun büyük olsun o da çok önemli değil kara delik olsun boşluk dediğimiz fizikteki boşluk dediğimiz esasen inanılmaz derecede kalabalık fotonlar elektronlar pozitronlar hepsi kaynama halindeler sürekli eğer ortama çok kuvvetli bir elektrik alanı uygularsanız o boşluktaki var olan parçacıkları çıkarabiliyoruz ve bu e, esasen hem bugün direkt olarak gözlemeye çalışılıyor lazer işimizde hem de indirekt olarak biliyoruz. Yani mesela şöyle düşünün. Bir elektron, bir elektron şöyle hayal edebilirsiniz. Bir elektron ışığı alabilir. Sonra ışık verebilir. O aldığı ışık nereye gider? Şöyle hayal edebilirsiniz. O aldığı foton vakumda sıfır enerjili bir halde durur. Sonra bir parçacık geldiği zaman onu tekrar çıkarır. Olay bu. Hawking'in kara deliğini, Einstein'ın kara deliğini bu vakumda koyduğumuz zaman vakumdan parçacık çıkar. Bu çok kuvvetli onları söküp atalım. So, how can you just realize that in 1974, and it was published in 1975, uh, and today, I actually, yesterday, I looked at the number of citations in that case. Uh, it says something, you see, there were, there were 7,000 papers, written, technical papers, written on that paper. 7,000. That's a large number. So he did an amazing work. So according to Hawking, the black hole is, an, is a thermodynamic system. It is like the hair of the duck, basically. Okay? It's a very complicated thing. Now, it has temperature. It is not an elementary particle. If you wait long enough, the black hole is not a frozen star. It evaporates. Eventually, in the last couple of minutes of the black hole, it is so hot that it evaporates everything, actually. A lot of stuff comes out. Okay? So it's amazing, right? That is amazing. Uh, before Hawking, our understanding of the universe was that it started with a singularity, <laughs> it will end up in a singularity. That's the black hole. It's cosmological singularity, everything is extremely dense. The universe was in like a point and then it expanded. And eventually, the galaxy is formed and then eventually these things will collapse into a black hole many black holes, and then these black holes will attract each other, and then eventually you will have a black hole start with almost a singularity, infinite density, and so on, and end up with a singularity, which cannot even do anything anymore, okay? So that was the picture. Classic general relativity teki resim şu, datalardan geliyor. Bakın da çok uzun olmadığı için hızlandı şöyle biraz. Datadan geliyor. Evrene baktığımız zaman, geriye döndürdüğümüz zaman bir tekillik çok yoğun diye düşünün. Bu evrende resim geriye çektiğimiz zaman çok yoğun, çok sıcak bir noktadan başlıyor. Daha sonra görünen o ki madde ister istemez bir kara delik oluşturuyor. Hawking ve Penrose sağlam bir şekilde, daha da gençken Hawking, sağlam bir şekilde şunu gösteriyorlar. Kütle çekimi altında elinizde bir dağılım varsa hani var ya öğretirler de ortaokulda lisede bulut su, toz ve gaz bulutu. Toz ve gaz bulutu en nihayetinde kara delik oluşturuyor. Onu söyleyeyim. Çekimden bu. So that was the picture that, that, that we have. Now this is not clear at all because a black hole can radiate. A black hole can radiate. So 